is just a pre preliminary statement. I think the House deserves more detailed information than this because this affects the life of Kenyans. So, Speaker, I'm happy that the matter was stopped urgently, but because this could have been very dangerous, you wouldn't know what this data will have been used for. In this era of digital you know, world, this could be another digital shakahola. People could have been, something could have happened that you're not sure. But Mr. Speaker, the biggest problem also I'm seeing here is a problem that us Africans have. We don't take responsibility. Somebody has slept on the job here. Because if you listen to the statement, Mr. Speaker, of the majority leader, the majority leader was clear that these people were licensed on 18th of April, 2023. So these people have been around. They were licensed. They were, you know, they put tent in a, in a big installation here in the city center at KICC. They were not doing this work in the, inside, you know, dingy places. These are people who are sure of what they are doing. It looks like they had all backings that they need to do their work in a daylight at KICC. So, Mr. Speaker, me in my view is I propose to you that we need to hand over this matter to a committee of parliament, either the ICT committee or a special committee that can bring back a detailed report on this matter to the House, Mr. Speaker. Because the world is moving to AI, to artificial intelligence. There are a lot of things happening in the world, Mr. Speaker. And if we don't protect our people from those kind of uh, issues, Mr. Speaker, they will become very vulnerable. I was told when uh, the iris of the people were taken, they were being paid 7,000 shillings. I was being told yesterday, Mr. Speaker, the level of poverty around, if you tell somebody, let me give you 20,000, I remove your eye, you'll tell you, just remove it. Then next week I'll come for the second one, again you remove it so that I get 40,000. Mr. Speaker, people are being misused because of the poverty levels, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, it is our responsibility to protect them so that they don't become vulnerable to people who have ulterior motives to use. Mr. Speaker, with those few remarks, I want to urge that this matter should not end with a statement. This matter is bigger than a statement. This matter, a committee of this House should be seized of this matter. Otherwise, Mr. Speaker, you know, in Parliament, your former, uh, your former House is known for taking over many things. You'll hear now a select committee of Senate investigating World Coin. I know them. So this is where this matter should be discussed, Mr. Speaker. You know, they are very good in doing Great. things. So, Mr. Speaker, let us uh, look into this matter deeply.